Lawrence Springborg has defended the LNP's decision to close a Brisbane mental health unit for young people, but the former health minister admits he didn't read an expert report before shutting down the Barrett Centre. Claire Barnes has the details. The opposition leader wasn't keen to front the cameras after facing questions over the closure of a mental health unit. I gave my testimony in the uh in, in the commission today. Lawrence Springborg was health minister when the Barrett Adolescent Centre closed its doors in 2014. Within eight months, three former patients died. Lawrence Springborg will have to live with his conscience and just as I'm going to have to live with the grief of losing my daughter. Before it shut down, an expert panel recommended the type of care provided by the centre was essential, but Mr Springborg admitted he didn't read that report until prior to giving evidence at the inquiry. If anyone had actually asked us to continue with an institutional model of care for adolescents, uh, then that would have happened because there was ample funds there to do that. He claims the former government was forced to find $100 million in health savings. $41 million came from axing or delaying four projects, including the Barrett Centre, based on the advice from senior clinicians. The inquiry heard the budget savings were redirected to help fix 12 rural hospitals. A replacement mental health facility was earmarked for Redlands, but plans were scrapped. That was made by the experts because they said that an institutional model of care was no longer the most appropriate model of care. The inquiry continues next week. Claire Barnes, 10 Eyewitness News.